In this video, I'll be sharing with you two ways that you can create a link server and SQL server. So the first thing you want to do is expand the server objects and then right click link server, then select new link server. By default, you can just specify the name of the link server and then select security and then specify security and then provide a login. However, but what if you don't want to have the name of the link server to be the name of a SQL server? Well, in this case, you select other data source. Here, you specify the name of the link server. Let's call this demo2 here. And then specify the product name, which is demo2. Case doesn't matter. And then you provide the data source, which is the name of your server here. Then you go to security and then select be made with using the security context. Enter username and password. This login must be on the remote server. If it doesn't exist on the remote server, go ahead and create it and then select OK. Now, once you're done, test the connection and ensure everything is working as expected. And that's basically it. For more training, you can check out my Udemy courses. The link is in the description of this video.